Hello guys, welcome to our channel, The Physics Central. And uh, today, what I'm gonna be doing is the continuation of the part one of the unsolved or the solved array key. All right. So, but before anything else, please click the subscribe button and the hit the notification bell to get updated whenever we post or I post new videos like this. So let's go ahead and uh, proceed to coding. All right. So. There is the last code that we used in the previous video. Alright, so what I want now is to get the value, alright? Because this thing, as, as you can recall, will echo at every value that is checked. But uh, it doesn't give you any uh, um, capability of getting the value and saving it into a variable than um, saving it into a database so what we're gonna do right now is to do something we write the code that lets uh, the data coming from the checkbox or the value of the checkbox to be passed into a variable and then insert it into the database all right so maybe this is the second part or uh, yeah of three because uh, well the complexity of the subject so let's take it one by one Alright, so let's go ahead and write that particular code. I'm gonna start with with putting some well, what do you call it? Comments. Alright, so uh, yeah, so I don't want this to be executed. Alright, so I'm gonna put this here. Alright, and this one here. This one. Including um yeah, including this then yeah so that I don't have to write them again once I need it done all right so but all of these things that you see in green will not be executed all right so let's go and uh, well this part of the code is very simple it's like assigning uh, well assigning a variable like for example dollar dot value right okay because I declare a variable using the dollar sign is, is equal to all right so where are we where where are we getting it right. and then yeah so from this array all right so that is dollar and this word post and then the name of the array all right so this one don't forget that all right and then its name is color and then the most important thing is to um, get the uh, index of that array. All right, so another bracket, and then so since it index, the very first element is uh, contained in the zero index. All right, so and then get this one. And then uh, we wanted to know if that variable has been passed to the value or the dollar value variable. All right, so we write echo. All right, this one. Oops. So let's try if we can use this uh, thing here. So I'm gonna copy. All right, so this one i'm gonna copy this one and then uh place it here so let's see if we'll, uh, this code will work all right so let's go ahead and check if uh, our code works because if um this thing worked or it's working fine and be applied i think i can do uh, this method and solve my problem. All right, so and I, I, I will be uh, putting it right here. So, so and that will save my life <laughs> from fatal undefined array key uh, array key errors later on. All right, so let's go back to the web uh, web page or the document and let's see if it's working properly. All right, so let's see if my thumb is uh, working. Thumb is on. 
sa I'm gonna call 127 and then this one That oh that oh that one slash um, PHP test dot PHP. All right, all right. So here we go. Let's check if uh, yes. So <laughs> I'm gonna check red, all right, and blue. But our code says that we only want the first. Um, uh, yeah, so the value of the first uh, index in that array. I don't ho know how, how, how you, you call that, but I want the first value being generated or the first that has been checked. Alright, so that's what I wanted. So, alright, so let's see what will happen. Okay, so this should tell me that it's, um, it's red. And the green one will not be showed, alright? Okay. So the color is red, so it's working. Alright, so if I say uh, green, alright, because it's the second uh, uh, option, alright, so it should say green, not white, not blue, not red. Alright, so let's see. So yeah, so perfectly worked. So that's how I was able to get uh, the value, extract the value out of the array. And then the next thing that I can do is to pass it on, just what I've said, to the database since I am able to extract. Okay? Because previously I was able to extract things. Alright, so let's see, let's see you again in the next video. Bye bye guys. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do it. This is for the purpose of what? Um, <laughs> uh, nationality. Alright, other nationality like Indian. <laughs> yeah, so African. So they might uh, tune in. I hope so. Alright, so bye bye. See you on my next episode.